This film is um, being made to commemorate the first 10 years of uh, Cottenham Community Centre as a charity and the takeover of the former Methodist Church to ensure that it continues as a community building which was very much the wish of so many people in the village and including the former Methodist congregation. What a wonderful thing it's been to find it's, not, it's a church still, but in another sense, and because of all the things that are going on and the, 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 the feeling of love and affection that is shared among everyone. I married nearly 60 years ago to Vivian Blunt, who was a member of this church with his family. They, they would come to, to um, Sunday school here. My my husband was christened here. My mother-in-law was married here in 1923. Where we're sitting now, there were pews, which were the choir stalls. And where the coffee shop is now, they were, it was called the children's corner. We had our last service here, and this photograph was taken of the congregation on that morning. And to see this building without being used for anything would have been disastrous for us, wouldn't it, Lilith? Yes, yes. Really now, it's just so alive and just so amazing. Twelve years ago, I was the superintendent of the Cambridge Methodist Circuit and Cottenham Methodist Church was one of our churches. The Methodists have always sought to worship God and serve the community. That's what Methodism is about. The worship of God became impossible here but the building still serves the community and so the Methodism is really proud that this place still exists. I can remember in particular the um, scepticism, shall I say, of local people about whether or not a coffee shop would work in uh, a village like Cottenham. When we were successful in front of the TV cameras in People's Millions and achieved our first 50,000, um, we were suddenly very Everyone was very excited. And the plaques, which you can see me bef behind me, were actually part of the original pulpit. I was sent to work in Cottenham by the Methodist Church to be part of this, um, what was a Methodist chapel, and is now this thriving hub of the community. And what it means to me is a place to bring together people of disparate backgrounds, um, different ages and um, different um, sort of life situations to bring people together um, to explore what life and love and death and um, spirituality is all about and we have various ways of doing that in very low-key calm casual ways and also more intentional ways. My main, main role is treasurer but I also do a lot of coordination project management uh, working on grant funding arranging builders and maintenance and all sorts of things. It quickly became time to open the coffee shop. Ten years on, we're going strong. My involvement with the Cottenham Community Centre started um, when I worked for my father, who is one of the trustees. Um, my background is in catering. Um, I used to be a chef. So he asked me whether I would come down and help them design the kitchen, have a look at the space that they'd got. Um, it very quickly became apparent that this little job would be right up my street um, and I applied for the job as manager and here I am today, eight years on. Um, it's a fantastic job, I love my involvement with volunteers, helping all sides of the community from the young right through to the old. Um, my role is to liaise between the parish council and the community centre. From a personal standpoint I love all the the all-inclusive nature of the, uh, the activities here. Um, it appeals to all ages, you've got kids activities, you've got the knitting circle, you've got Scrabble, um, there's music, there's film shows, uh, you name it, the community centre has got it all. And uh, thoroughly support all the ventures that it, uh, that it undertakes. I do lots of different things in my role as a trustee. Uh, such as um, looking after all the display boards, laminating and putting posters up, um, making sure the defibrillator is running, as well as um, helping with lots of events. I teach, especially here in the studio, Pilates and Yin Yoga. What is so brilliant about this space is that we've got a special floor, we've got the mirrors, which is really, really very rare to see in village halls and the bar is a lovely addition that gives so much more opportunities to add certain classes to the room and to add to the movements that we make. 
it's not just a wonderful space here to be in to do your class, but because of all the other facilities in the community centre, uh, people have really bonded together um, and created basically a little community for themselves as a result of the classes. It's great to see people coming in, enjoying the space. It's great to meet different volunteers, work with different people and to provide a service for a lot of people in the community who need some company. It's lovely when people come in and say that this isn't just any old church hall, it's a proper coffee shop where they know they can come and get a good coffee like they can in Costa. The community centre is an extremely important part of the village for me. I've made so many friends and the facilities such as Dad's Play have really helped me integrate. I also participate with Simon in the community cinema. A few of us realise we have quite a passion for films in the village and once a month we turn our coffee shop into a tiny cinema. A meeting at the community centre is just a great place to do some crafts together and just have a chat and have a bit of a social time as well as crafting. I'm Ellie and what I like about dance classes it gives you much more energy for me and it gets you going. I'm Ruby and I like dance because it actually makes me I'm Olivia and what about our of dance class I like it stretch oh warm up and stretching. I've supported the coffee shop for ten years. I voted for the money to be donated to us. Um, I have now worked here for 18 months and I thoroughly enjoy it. It is a very friendly and buzzy atmosphere and everybody seems to like coming here and enjoying the food. We've been making uh, good use of the uh, community centre for, on a Monday in particular for Mucky Pups. Uh, we enjoy doing the messy play um, and then tend to come in after here and enjoy a bit of a, a tuna panini. It's a great little place close to where we live where we can come out and, uh, and see lots of other people. Uh, the community centre has always been a big part of our lives and we've met some like-minded people through that and even formed a band, C5. And we also do several events each year in the community centre which is a great place to play. I've been a volunteer here for nine years and I think I might be the oldest one of the staff. Before, before we started with the um, community centre, there was nowhere to meet in the village at all. But now that we've got this, which took a long time to get, it's been absolutely superb. Cafe became quite a lifeline for my father. He would come here regularly, I should think probably at least three times a week for his morning coffee. And then occasionally he would even return about an hour or so later to, to have his lunch. Um, he loved especially a roasted vegetable ciabatta, I remember. Um, so it was a very special place for him. There was always a warm welcome for him here and it made him feel part of the community. We use the community centre for our soft play events. Um, and then we have got outdoor toys and ride-ons that are available to hire. Um, for parties, summer events, or if anyone's hiring a hall for a party, they can ask us about hiring those toys. I'm part of the Knit and Natter group, and who you can see in the background here. We meet on Wednesdays between 10 and 12, and we really enjoy coming together, supporting each other, but at the same time we do do a lot of knitting for um, local charities, for care homes, for the premature baby units, for Jimmy's Night Shelter. And we also do things in the village. We knit all the bunting for the family festival. We make poppies for Remembrance Day. Now, 12 and sometimes 13 of us, we have a good old chat. It's just one lovely big family. When I started, I didn't know people, but I know lots of people now, volunteers are a fantastic group, we all work together as a team, we work hard, we play hard. I, I can't speak highly enough about it. I've always felt it as a great gift to have been sent here and to be able to be part of the community. Um, you know, it's, it's just so wonderful, you just get that feeling of um, peace when you come in here. The number of people of the village who want to give up their time, their, their ingenuity, their career and what they know to put it all together to make it something so beautiful.
to me, that's the richest gift we've got in Copland, to have this building here. The community centre is genuinely the heart of the village. <laughs> I was on a roll then as well. Jane and I have had one night. Oh, I'm not saying that on camera. Is that all right? I'm not very good at these sort of things. <laughs> oh, you are filming now. <laughs> I could eat something in a sort of slightly disgusting manner, but apart from that, I think I'm um, I'm done. <laughs>